Hey, good afternoon. Grumpy old concrete guy here. Yeah, it's been a while since I made the mold for this uh, horseshoe crab. But uh, that was a real horseshoe crab. And I uh, found the skeleton. It's outer shell on the beach. And uh, took some uh, two-part rubber here and uh, made a mold and I haven't poured one yet with concrete but we're gonna see how that works out yeah we're hoping for the best but yeah horseshoe crabs yeah, they're here on Cape Cod and other places they can live in brackish waters but here's a little bigger one um, it's not a perfect shell, it's kind of broken, and uh, naturally it's missing its legs and everything, but uh, they're pretty cool. They're, uh, they're prehistoric, a little info on them. The, um, uh, despite their name, they're really not uh, true crabs. They are related to uh, spiders, ticks, and scorpions. When I read that, I didn't want to read any more. But uh, they really don't hurt you in the water or anything. I know they have this this spine here. But uh, I think if they get tipped over, that helps them get back upright. But, uh, yeah. And then what, what happens, too, is they use uh, horseshoe crab blood. It's used for detecting... Uh, bacterial uh, things in uh, medical applications and uh, well that blood harvesting is on the decline because what they would do is they would take the blood from the horseshoe crab and then they would uh, release the crab and uh, a lot of them do not survive they don't survive that and sometimes some people use them for uh, bait to catch eels but horseshoe crabs uh, they're living fossils, meaning they have existed. They have existed nearly unchanged for at least 445 million years, well before the dinosaurs. So, uh, yeah, just a little update here on my, uh, my uh, horseshoe crab project here. But uh, this will be part one. And then part two... We'll be uh, pouring the concrete in the mold. Um, yeah, I don't do that much editing with my videos. And uh, I'm not that good at making videos. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to pass along some interesting information about the horseshoe crab. They're pretty cool to see them in the water. A lot of times, uh, when they've been in the water a real long time, there'll be... Uh, you know shells and stuff growing on them but uh i do have a video of some horseshoe crabs but uh you'd have to look at my uh my youtube page and uh and check it out but anyway so we'll see what happens but yeah you can make uh molds of uh you want to you know pour something out of concrete you can get that two-part rubber and, uh, you know, what had to happen here is I had to, uh, you can see where I had a form around there to hold the rubber in, and then I, I had to caulk it, so, because that rubber will run right out. But anyways, that's the end result right there. I had to do a little patching on it. It ran a little thin. There's another video of making the mold if you want to look it up. Or I could leave the link below. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting uh, close to uh, a thousand subscribers. I have, uh, right now I have uh, 380, I think. So, uh, so that's pretty close. <laughs> Not really. But, hey, I hope everybody's enjoying the day, and uh, 
yeah, it'll be cool to see how it turns out. I mean, uh, you look at it this way, right? And after you pour this, con after you put concrete in here, it should kind of look like this when you take it out. And what would you use it for? I don't know. Maybe put it in a garden or, um, you know, make some kind of sculpture with it. But, uh, well, there you have it. A little update. Horseshoe crabs. Way older than dinosaurs. Way older than me. All right. You guys have a great day. Grumpy old concrete guy. Signing out.